What's up everyone, welcome to episode 3 of the Ranked Up series. In this video we will go over a Diamond 3 replay and go over what they did wrong and what they can improve on. I have nothing else to say, so let's get right into the video. What's up everyone, welcome back to the Ranked Up series. Uh, I hope you have been enjoying them. We're almost reaching, well, we're about to reach champ. So I hope you're interested in that. Right now we're going to go over a Diamond 3 replay as I said in the intro. And go over what they did right what they did wrong and first off i want to say this play here is a little uh bad i'm just gonna say it. it's a little bad mainly because this is fine all this is fine you know as you reach higher you know this is like top area of the average player base diamond three champ one area so I'm going to expect a little bit more out of these people, right? We're almost in the, the purple rank, as I call it. So I suggest, even if it doesn't happen every single kickoff, I suggest cheating on this kickoff. And what that means here, for those that are not uh, attuned to that, is when you're here or here and your teammates on either side, just we'll keep it simple and just for this spot, you flip or drive to this boost and you're ready for the ball to pop out either way. That's what uh, cheating is. But this is fine too, grabbing the 100. Not a fan of this flip here exactly because if we grab this boost and we flip here, right? If Lev here is, you know, a little bit faster to it, he can hit this right over us. And also if he doesn't get a bad touch here, he can hit it right over us. But perfectly lined up for us here. We cheat a little too far into the corner, right? What we can do here is we can kind of watch what he's doing, right? No matter what, like, this is a really, really hard scoring angle, right? It pops out, like, right here. Even if you're here, like, you have to get a straight shot onto that. And at this MMR, this range, that's not going to happen all the time. So what we can do here, and also if you're not confident in yourself, we can go a little bit wider here. We can slow down, and we can watch what Lev does here. Since he doesn't hit the ball and he goes to the right, we can hit this up off the wall, right? Or we can drive this up the wall. Pretty much any way to get it centered. Because as we saw, Elder Bean here doesn't have boost. So if we put pressure up high, right? And Lev doesn't have boost either. Because uh, does he pick up the boost? No, he goes around it. But even if he doesn't pick up this boost, even if he picks up this boost here, we can hit this high, like we could even slam this ball into the wall and our teammate would be there, hopefully. Different ideas. This is fine here, putting pressure into the corner, grabbing the boost and backing out. Right here, we make it awkward for ourselves, right? Because we go back in for, you could say a double dip. We grab this here, we back up here, we could be on the ball. If you do a certain back flip. A little awkward here. But good stall, either way, can go to your teammate. That's a goal. Okay. So what we could do here is uh, jump. We need to go up faster. We have 60 boost here, and this ball isn't that high off the ground. A simple double jump aerial can hit this ball here and not waiting for it to get lower. This is where confidence comes into the play in the game. It is usually around this rank. As we see here with uh, Lev here. He's uh, he's more confident in his aerial here. He's also spaced perfectly, or not perfect, but he's spaced further back, which lets him jump earlier and get a better shot, right? So we got to think of it this way. We are closer. We should win this no matter what, almost no matter what, even if we're not confident in ourselves, but we need to get up because we see our teammate not going for it. He's not jumping off the wall for it. So that means we have to go. And right now, Lev is in the air. So we either need to get up when we hear Lev go up, aka just matching what your opponent does, or, you know, go up sooner, hit it to the other side. Like, even even a soft hit up, way up, is enough to stall enough time. Now, I'm not a fan of this kickoff, right? We could say it works, but if we don't improve on what can work, it can only get worse, right? So instead of going sideways into this, 
This is where we look up things on YouTube called speed flips and speed flip tutorials for kickoffs. Because they're decently simple, right? So it's a flip cancel with a correction at the end in simple terms. So wave dash kickoff, that's fine too. I'm just not a fan of it because, you know, it gives possession to the other team. This, it just could be so much better if we just learn how to speed flip on the kickoff and control it. It's going to be a lot easier. Now here, unfortunate wave dash here. We shouldn't be under this ball on this side. We should be under this ball on this side. We want to be goal side here because if we go like this, because right now we have very little momentum. Right now we're kind of huddled under the ball. We're looking up. If we go around this way, grab this pad just in case and this pad just in case and the ball goes forward right if he touches it he goes forward right and you know if we're around here instead of awkward on this side of the ball if we're on this side of the ball we can have an open net here right so if beefy here touches it over we grab this pad and we're on trajectory here boom we flip forward or we double jump into it either or But now, and we're still out of the play here, right? We can go for it. But now we're just driving into no man's land. We're not paying attention to the game. We're as... It's a common thing, as I said, in the plat replay. We're just watching the game. We're just watching the game happen here, right? Oh, ball's in the air. I'm watching the ball in the air. I'm not watching my teammate. I'm watching the ball. I'm still watching the ball. I'm not paying attention to anyone I'm doing. Wait, I'm over here. Let's go. Good job, teammate. See what I mean? If you gotta, you gotta get active when you play. Yet again here, cheat on the kickoff. Even if this goes over your head into the corner, it's in the corner. You're fine. We gotta, we gotta speed this up. We gotta, we gotta speed this up somehow. We don't jump here. We drive off the side of the wall, and we slam this into our teammate. The reason I say this is because look at this. If we go into, whoops, if we go into fly cam here. We say jump to the wall here, not a bad play, but then we drive down here, right? Look at the play. We can see the field, we can see our teammate to our left, and we can just hit this ball, like right here. Mr. Elder over here, he doesn't have a play on this ball, right? He has to go mock 10 at the ball, and luckily here, uh, they miss. Goes wide. They miss on the ball again. This is... Going into the corner for no reason. Now, I do this, which is why I can uh, point it out. Is we drive too much into the corner so that when the ball goes out into the middle, we can't do anything about it because we're mispositioned. And our, also our boost count here. This is a panic touch because it does nothing here, right? It goes right back to the opponents. As I said in the plat, maybe gold is... Boost cam, right? That's fine. You're flipping towards the boost. You can correct your car. You can do this right here. Camera on, off. On, off. You're driving straight towards the boost. You don't need to look at it the whole time. We're too far into the corner for my liking here. We should either be... Right, there's two positions here. Oh, there's three, actually. Right where you are, right here. You slow down and you stop. And then you curve in a little bit. So you could be right here. Because guess what? This ball would be right here, right to you. You go right here. Or if you're confident your teammate can hit the ball, you go out a little bit more. But you're not in this weird zone where you can't do anything. You go straight at the ball. It's to the wall. You hit it to the left. It goes there. You have to hit it to the right. And see what I mean? Like You have to then tilt out into the middle you have to spill out into the middle to get a shot on that unless you go back here you stay you slow down a little bit ball comes to you you have possession now you can take it up the wall we got to be not watching the game and being involved in the game that's the main thing this isn't a bad play right you may say oh you didn't touch the ball you didn't slam the ball that's good you didn't give up possession directly now his teammate can take the ball and turn this into a possible goal right 
double save there. Not much they can do. I would have... This might just be me, but... I would pop this up. I would aim for up. I don't know if he was aiming up, but I would put this up, up the wall. So I can give my teammate some time. Because if you look at where his car is, he's facing this way, right? And he's driving that way. So if I hit the ball up here, like try to aim like in this general corner. It's going to be a little bit harder for the opponents to be there directly, be there immediately. It's going to take them a little bit. So my teammate can grab the 12, 24, 36, maybe in turn, right? Or 12, 24, 36, which is this pad right here. This is the 36. So that if they clear it this way, which they did, my teammate can be the first one there and we don't need to chow here. Good backing off. But now we're awkward, right? We're still watching the play. We're not aware of our surroundings. And the higher we go up, the more you'll realize just how much it happens, just in general, of just watching the play, right? Good touch there. Or good idea here. Not touch. Good idea here. The idea is to pinch, maybe stall time here, and be able to grab the boost. Which we do, we grab the boost, but now we're awkward because we're on the wall, we're missing our wave dashes, right? I'm gonna chalk up the missing the wave dashes to just inexperience with them, you know. I, to this day, still mess up my wave dashes, so he's not the only one. Now we're, this is what I mean by where we're just watching the game happen. We're not involved in the play. It'd be better if this guy, at this point in time, hit the spectate button. Because his teammate, uh, or him himself, is just not in the game not in the play he has 60 boost here goes up or 50 goes up to 60 boost with his 12 pad and it's like he doesn't realize that mr elder here is going to be the next guy on the ball it it's just better to spectate the game and sit in the net if you're gonna do that All right we want to be involved in the game we want to we want our head in the game as they say Again, here, you could cheat up. Doesn't matter for this exact kickoff. But maybe it does, right? Maybe it goes in because of it. Like, we cheat up. We pressure Lev here. We can do that a little bit faster. Pressure Lev. But, you know, it goes in. I can't... I can't mark it down. And again, I don't like this kickoff. If we can get rid of this kickoff, you improve as a player, right? You can do the wave dash part, that's fine. Like, this part right here, that's fine. But you stay grounded. And then you flip when you're in the circle. You don't flip, you don't jump now. Because you're giving up the height, right? Left here, all he has to do is 50 low. Like, if we look at this from Lev's perspective, look at this. Like, he's... He's on the ground too. Like, he's matching you. All he has to do is 50 low. And his teammate's on the ball, right? And now your teammate is in a 2v1. Pretty much 1v1. Okay, this is fine. We need to put a little more pressure here. We need to... Right now, this is good. We're watching the opponent, this means. But we're still way too far back. Teammate leaves it for some reason. That's fine. We're not, as I'm saying, we're not engaged in the game. His teammate is trying his best. And, you know, he can't, Beefy here can't do anything about this situation. He backs up here, that is fine. He dodges that, fine. We have to know, we have to be watching Elder here. We have to be. We see Lev, we're watching Lev, right? Boom. You don't have to worry about that guy for the next, like, two, three seconds. Because if we look at Lev here, even if he turns back into the play, it's a weird, weird play, but he, he's out of the play, essentially. We have to be watching Elder here. Even from this position, it looks like Elder is going to be going for the ball, even if he fakes, right? Even if he fake challenges right now. He's jumped here. We have to match him at least. We have to jump here. This is where the we're just spectating. We're just watching the game part happens. Because we have to be watching Elder here. And Elder's jumping, we have to jump. 
the reaction time is so slow here that he jumps and he's still not at the same height level the ball is, so or can't 50 the ball. It could also be the camera settings. I don't know. I feel like this the camera is just so much higher than it should be. It might just be me. This is fine. Guess the demo, that's fine. The ball's in the corner, his teammate can get there. And now we're not playing the game. Okay, we're back. We should be on pads here. Pad, pad. Maybe two extra pads, maybe an extra 24. That's what it takes to get higher ranked, right? It's the little things that stop you from ranking up when you get higher up. So if we're missing these large things here, this is fine, right? This is all part of learning the game and experiencing it. These are fine, but if we're just spectating the game, like this is fine. Like leave it for your teammate, good. Where you shouldn't really be covering the net here, there's no threat on the net. So we can push up. This is where I, me in this situation, I'd leave the boost for my teammate. I'll follow up my teammate here. I'd be like around this area, around this area, right? Because I come down the wall, I'm like right here. Because there's no threat and maybe I can get demoed by Lev or I can demo Lev here. Where he won't be a threat to my teammate here or Beefy here. And it's a 1v1 between Beefy and Elder, right? That's a thought. Like there's no reason to protect the net. And especially if Lev hits this ball and Beefy doesn't, the ball hits off the wall and it comes right back here. So where are we going to be? Right here. So you could either A, take possession, B, boom it to the net, or C, boom it to the corner. that those are all options there and we take none of them right here we take the protect the net even though no one's challenging here this is why we're just watching the ball we're just watching the ball we're just not really paying attention okay we're over here now we drift turn yeah that works i guess don't <laughs> please don't do this you can go back like you can figuratively and literally drive back a little bit further and you'll be fine. You'll even be in a better position. Right here we can go grab the mid to starve the opponents of boost. We can see that our teammate has 100. And then because we didn't grab the mid, Elder here can grab the mid and challenge our teammate immediately. Interesting touch. It's a good idea for a pass. But we have zero boost here. So what are we going to do? We're going to go back for corner. That's all right. This is fine. We're panicking a lot, though. You can kind of tell in the movement that we're panicking a little bit. We just got the 100. But we're too, we're too scared to challenge. But we're not aggressive enough. Or, yeah, we're too scared to challenge. That's what I'm trying to say. And we also just don't position well. Right here, we're flipping for no reason. We can follow this, right? This is fine, except for when we flip. If we wait here, we can go back into our corner and we don't have to worry about the demo, right? Or we still have to worry about the demo, but it won't be as problematic. That's a good bump. This is bad. Turn the camera on. What we do here, good bump. We see in the corner, we tap, we just check. We don't go for the boost here. We don't go for the boost here. We tap and check to see if the boost is there. Boom, the boost is there. Now we watch the play. This is why we're not in the play. This is why we're not doing things. So what we do here, we check to see if the boost is there. Oh, cool, the boost is there. Now we turn back to the play. We grab this pad, we grab this pad, this pad, this pad this pad and now we turn back right we're not doing this we turn back oh teammate hit it up again well, then we circle around this way see no matter what they're gonna be there so what you can do is grab this pad grab this pad maybe or grab this pad and turn flip to here because the ball is right here so what you can do is you can jump flip even and hit this ball behind lev here it goes up the wall but what do we do instead here we go for the boost, 
We go at field, right? Now we're too far in front of the play, we can't make a play, so we have to turn back. We flip back here. Good. This is the good part. Good 50, right? Turns into a, a play for your teammate. But you gotta be aware of the play still. The boost is not gonna move. The boost doesn't move. So we gotta be aware of the play here. That's a good 50 then. Gotta be aware of the play. Like, we turn it back. Like, the boost isn't gonna move. We gotta be aware of the play. I see it. See that? Why can't we do this the whole time? Why can't we do that the whole time? Why do we have to add the, the stupid little silly flip before? I also don't like that jump. Do we take the boost from our teammate here? I'm not sure. Kind of. So we do a unnecessary, we completely kill our momentum here, by the way. And then we use, what's that? 17 to drive down the wall. And then we jump again, but use no boost. I don't get it. I don't get it. If any diamond wants to tell me why you do this, please tell me in the comment section. I'd love to know. Right here though, this is fine, right? We're on the offense. I would have hit this backboard and I would have aimed for like anything here. Anything here or a little bit higher is so difficult to read for the defender here because no matter what, it's going to come down, 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 down. So that gives your teammate a ample chance to position a little bit better and possibly get a free net, free goal because the defender just doesn't know what's going on. Teammate gets beat here. Luckily, Lev stops the play, but we also cancel our momentum. Like, we completely stop it yet again. We gotta stop pausing. What we can do here instead is we see this. We continue our momentum and we drive up the wall. We continue, we drive up the wall here because, guess what? The ball is gonna stay here, so you can drive up the wall. And either A, or not up the wall, but like along this like edge here. We can turn here, power slide a little bit. And boom, we're on the ball. Instead of pausing our momentum and just hitting the ball back to the opponents. Yegan, too scared to challenge. The Elder here gives you the ball for free. If you wait a second here, you can have a either free shot. Maybe, maybe it won't go in. Or maybe, maybe it will, maybe it won't go in. But instead, we have to take a 50 here. Camera on, camera on. That's a good play from the opponent. We, yet again, wait too long here. If we're not confident in our uh, backwards aerialing, I guess this could be considered, we gotta at least try and get up faster, right? We're the last man here, and the opponent has a pretty much breakaway here. He has the height. We have to cover off the angle, right? Our objective is to cover off the net. So we can either A, wait just a little bit longer but we also pause we also l2 we lt we stop our car before we go up that is another thing that has been pretty consistent right there we stop we can see the the camera move in a way that isn't supersonic right we keep going we keep going well, we turn we keep going boom we stop there we can see the car go up and down a little bit so now we have to jump with less momentum than the opponent, far more boost, but less momentum, and that dusts us. They dust us because of that. Because we're not making the... Because uh, we're not being active in what we're doing. We're kind of just like semi-playing the game. And if you want to rank up, if you want to get to the next rank and play at that speed of the next, like, rank, you got to be able to play the game at the speed of your lobby. And I would say that he's playing slower. This player specifically is playing slower, if not right on the speed, but if not a little bit slower than the rest of the lobby. 
And I'm not saying that because he's going slow around the field. It's just the decision making. And that's what earlier, uh, or not earlier, but later on when we get to it, the I'm going to uh, section off champ in different ways. It's going to be mid and low champ, like champ on champ two, and then high champ, low GC. And then GC1, GC2, and then that will be the series. But right here, like this is good. The idea of this is good. It's just a little slow. Yet again, we hear the opponent go up before we go up. Just barely, but enough to where he's beat to the ball. Uh, BV just doesn't hit it. That's all right. Main things from this, uh, I was going to say tutorial. Main things from this replay is we're not making decisions. We're still just watching the game. Maybe it's just this player. Maybe this doesn't encompass all of Diamond. Please, please, Diamonds, let me know. Is this like the average game or is this like subpar or is this above par? Because I, I really do want to know because I want to fairly judge every player right i just pick up random replays from ball chasing and if you want me to go over your replay for champ and gc one two and like champ one two area like maybe you peak champ two and you're sitting in champ one or you know you're champ two trying to reach champ three i will go over it for a video right if you're interested in that, please do join the Discord down in the description. And that's it from me today. <laughs> I hope you guys did learn something. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.